Welcome back. So, I got some large items. Well, larger items in the mail. But all PC additions for me. Because, obviously, that's what the focus is right now. Um, everything else is just, you know, trying to thin things down a little bit. So, starting off, we have another Morris Arnovich. Signature to add to the collection. It's raw. This is cut from a larger piece. Um, so there's a 39 who's who of baseball multi signed book. Uh, the seller decided to cut up the book. I had no choice. I'd love to see the whole book in one piece, but you know, I'll pick and choose and you know get the PC guys and he found he had Arnovich in there so of course that's the one I went for and adding that to the collection next up this is not an expensive auto or particular auto by any means but I actually did not have one of the 2012 historic autographs champions um, cuts of Hank Greenberg so I figured I this was a good price. Um, the seller took half of what their asking price was because it's been sitting for a long time, but half was reasonable in my eyes, um, and they accepted it. So add this one. Signature is only an eight, just because there's a little lifting at the end and gap in there, but still looks good. That's the back of the card. The early days of historic autographs. But another Greenberg slab to add to the collection. This was a rather unexpected purchase. Um, this is 1966 Bazooka Volbox. Just great authentic. But it has the Kofax on there. And you saw the 64, 65 panel. I forget which kind of sad right now um, that I purchased previously um, and this one came up now that was grade of four for the whole panel of the three cards um, this came up as a complete box which is kind of fun and it was the same price as the just the panel graded a four um, so didn't have this particular one. I don't think I don't have the '66 Bazooka Kovac, so this is the example I have. Um, and it was actually much more cost-effective um, to just get the whole box uh, because you really don't see the complete boxes too too much. Um, just the slabbing for this thing is quite pricey these days. Um, so if I to add that and. Again, it was a good price, so I can't really turn it down. And then the rest of the way, we have some photos. So this was actually an eBay purchase. And it's a set of six photos, really, of his basically full swing. And this is as he was chasing Bruce Record in 1938. So it's got all this markings. Really just a fantastic collage. So we'll go through step by step. Basically seeing the pitch. There's the start of the swing. Point of contact in number three. Here's the follow through. And then this one also has a continuation of the information. So, really good price on the original photos. So, I was happy to make a deal with that particular seller. And really getting six photos for the price of 
less than one actually so I was happy to pick that up kind of the historic chase in 38 and then the next two are from RMY auctions I managed to find two photos So 1940, Greenberg hitting his first home run of the season. I love the photos with all the stuff written on the back. So his first home run of the 1940 season crossing the plate. And the second one is in a bit rougher shape, <laughs> to say the least. Also 1940. Practicing in the outfield as he got switched there. Obviously, this was used a few times over the years 1940, 1950, 1968. So, some nice original photos I was able to pick up. So I was pretty pleased. I probably paid a little bit more than I normally would. Um, but it was all balanced out by the 38 photo. Um, which again, I think I did quite well on that. And then there's a, continuing the recap. At the 66 Bazooka. 2012 Hank Cut. And a very nice Arnovich signature. So a pretty full uh, bag of larger items added to the PC, hitting at least three of the primaries, um, I guess the three primaries um, in the collection, and just really happy to add kind of the unique um, and the vintage items. Obviously it's nice to have ink whenever I can get it, um, and it's really just quite a number of really good buys out there especially if you take the time make an offer and don't just throw a number out there if it's for your PC if it's something you're gonna keep let the seller know sometimes it'll help you sometimes it'll hurt you um, personally I found it helps more than it hurts because um, it's stuff that's gonna stay with me stay in my collection um, and that's how I've acquired a number of very, very nice pieces and how I think some others have gotten higher counters. I know at least a couple examples where um, people have gotten higher counters on the same item than I would, um, or they would just accept my offer even though someone else um, offered them a little bit more or sometimes even the same price. Um, it really depends, I guess, who's on selling it. A lot of this, you know, eBay is full of both people that are doing this as a means to support themselves, but also a lot of people that are just doing this as a side hustle, hobby, whatever you want to call it. Um, they're the collectors first. Um, so in those instances, a lot of them, they just want it to go into a collection. And I've had notes coming back to me reflecting that. So, again, happy to add all these to the collection. I think it did very, very well um, price-wise. You know, we're talking prices of before the big boom of 2020. Um, and so, they'll stay in my collection. This one I might get slabbed. Um, these will go in my binders. And then these will go in my respective boxes for Kofax and Greenberg. So that's what I got for you this time around. And until next time, please remember to collect what you enjoy, enjoy what you collect, and don't let anybody, especially the market or YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. And have fun by being active in this community. So find your way of participating. Whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. 
the more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your peace you'll grow, the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one. And bye for now.